Welcome back to the Lost Ones, everyone. We are back here on the morning of day 15. We have a lot to do, not a bunch of time, and we also have some moving that we have to get prepared for. Overseers, hope you did enjoy last night with the Horde Knight. Let me just check, see if you left me anything. Oh, we got a note. And we have five hobo stews. See what the note says. Congratulations on the victory last night. I hope this does not make you think you have won. This just means that things will continue to get harder for you. Enjoy the five stews we left for you as a reward and continue to entertain us, number 62424, Overseers. Well, I appreciate the reward. It's definitely going to help with food, but it, it's weird. I feel like they haven't called me by my name or number in a long time. Uh, yeah. So right now, plan is let's go ahead, empty the inventory, get everything put up. We need to go visit Rekt. No, actually we don't. We have to go do that job for Rekt. And then we need to get everything prepared and we are moving today. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm missing some stuff that I had on one before, but I guess I'll figure that out as I'm trying to go through these quests. First up, let's knock this one out. Hopefully be done with it. Then Rekt will tell us where we need to go next. And then I have to prepare before we actually get going. All right, it's time to get started. Want me to go down here? All right, well, thankfully it's a clear job, so my sensor should be able to tell me where the zombie's at. Oh, there's one right over there. Let me go ahead and grab all the loot, and then I'll meet you back at Trader Rex, where hopefully we're done. All right, Rex, I did that job. Am I done now? Come near me again, and I'll cut you. You think you're pretty Reasonable. smart now, don't you? Here's your pay. Uh, crafted time. magazines like normal. And yes, 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 yes. We are finally done. Finally. So I'm going to be going into blades. Machete would be great. However, a motorcycle. Hopefully I can get something good. Wait, do you not tell me where to go? Oh no, do I have to go to Bob? I think I have to go to Bob to figure out where I need to go to the next trader. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, it says I'm in tier four. I just did that. All right, I'll meet you back at the base and we'll figure out what we're going to do next. All right, magazines. We got two food crafting and two of the tool digest. Hey, hobo stew. We just got that. All right, what do we get for the motorcycle parts? I wonder. All right, three motorcycle books and we have a chassis, two wheels and a vehicle bundle, which is a battery. Can I make a motorcycle? Do I know how to do that? I still don't know how to make that. Okay, all that for nothing. All right, but what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to go back to Bob. I don't see a way around it, unfortunately. Oh, you're so far away, Bob. Why? Oh, this is not gonna be fun. All right, let me get stuff put up and we'll start traveling here in a minute. All right, so I was not expecting to have to go back to Trader Bob. If I'm being honest here, I thought Rex could tell me where to go, but I guess not. So like I said, we're we are going to respect anyway. I'm going to go ahead and do this right now just because we need to go ahead and get some gas. And I think it should give us a little bit more than normal and it goes by a lot quicker. So that's what we're going to have to do. But yeah, I'll meet you along the way. If something happens, I'll let you know. If not, then I'll see you back at Bob's. We finally made it back here to Bob's. Hopefully he didn't forget about me. I know it wasn't here that long, but I did have him out quite a bit, I think. 
Let's go see if he'll tell us where the next trader is at. Hey, Bob. Looking for a new ride or parts to get back on the road? Either way, we can help. I want it all. Can you tell me? Oh, you do. I've got oh, you're so far away. The elbow Trader Hugh. You must have more guts than you can hang on your fence. Let's see. Where is Trader Hugh at? Come on, Rex. Really? Rex is such a douchebag. He could have easily told me where Hugh was at. He is right there. Now, I have to go all the way back that way towards Rex and then up to heal. I guess that's okay, because it's gonna be easier for us to go back and forth, because we have to transport everything. But, Bob, Bob, hey, what do you got so for me? Slick. They make the road runner jealous. So we had a couple things. We have more tool digest. So I figured we're gonna get those. We're almost done with that. And he had one forged head. Go and take that. What about your candy? Did it restock? No, okay. All right, so what we have to do now, we have to go all the way back to Trader Wreck. However, this is an opportunity for us because we can go back to the old house to see if we left anything that we might need. Because in order to make a chemistry station, I need a beaker. I didn't have one back at home where we were at with Wreck. I thought we had one before, but I cannot find it. And I also went ahead and checked with Bob. He does not have one for sale. So, can we get lucky? So it was a no-go. I could not get a beaker there. However, was it this one? Yes. So we're gonna go over here. We need to visit Jen because if I'm not mistaken, I think I had a lot more things over there inside of the, what was it, the cabinet place where we lived at when we were staying over here helping her. So we're gonna head over there, see if I have a beaker or something in there. Plus I went ahead, I grabbed a ton of books that I had that I had already read before, and I'm gonna sell those to Jen to get some more money. And if we don't have a beaker, I'll see if I can buy one from her because we really need that chemistry station. Oh, I could barely not make it all the way to her front door with the gas we had. Oh, oh, wait, maybe. Maybe physics is gonna help us here. Come on, pick up speed, yes. <laughs> All right, I count that as a win. I made it here on my own and I'll refill you now. All right, Jen, please have something I need. Hey, Jen. Greetings, my friend. I'm sure I've got what you need. Take a peek at my selection. We'll find out. All right, I'm gonna go look real quick. All right, you have any candy? Sugar butts is a good one. Shock, explosion, salvage, nah. Loop bonus, then. Yeah, we'll grab two, why not? I was able to get some money off of her. No, I don't need the sneak damage, but thank you. All right, uh, she did not have the beaker, so that was a bummer, but it is what it is. However, she did have two books I bought. One is a forge ahead. Then we got two of the vehicle adventures. So I think we only need four more, if I'm right. Yeah, four more vehicle adventures, and then I can make the motorcycle, which I am really excited to make that. I forgot how much stuff we had here. All right, it's gonna take me a minute to go through all this. I'll be right back. All right, so good news. We had a bunch of stuff here I did not remember. As you can see here, we had ammo, food, and we had the gather mods for the dew collector. Our bike was here I forgot about. So while we did not get a beaker, we got a lot of stuff we forgot about. <laughs> so now it's just a matter of going home, I guess. I've actually changed my mind. I'm not going to go back to Wrecked just yet. I'm not going to go back to our old base just yet because we're going to have to move everything anyway over to the new area because that's going to be our new home. I might as well go there now, even though I'm filled with stuff. Yeah, I have some wood on me. I can make some storages, put down in front of the trader, unload everything, and then we could come back to get even more stuff to take back with us. I wasn't planning on doing all of this driving in this episode, but it couldn't be helped. So I'll see you once we get to the new trader. So we haven't gotten there yet, but it looks like Trader Hugh is in the snow biome. This is going to be unique. First we started in the forest, burnt forest, and we went to the desert, and now we're in the snow. Quite a bit of a change up. And it looks like we're at a big city also. 
I wonder if they will have cracker books here like they did in the desert. If so, that might be our chance to get enough books to make... Oh, Lumberjack. That might be our chance to get enough books in order to make a motorcycle. Oh, I think I found one. Yep, I found a cracker book. All right. Not right now. We will come back to it. I just want to mark it on my radar. Good. At least I know I can come here to get some books and hopefully be able to use that in order to make a motorcycle. Looks like we're here at Trader Hughes, and there is a bear right there. Welcome to the snow biome, I guess. Really don't want to mess with the bear. And unfortunately, he's near the area where I want to put down my storage containers. Okay, I got my gun. I am safe. I'm going to have to kill the bear, though. Because eventually it's going to attack me. Shut that. Uh, let's go meet the new trader. Hey, you. I'm Yoko. Hello. What can I do you for? Good job. Make sure and spend your reward on more guns and ammo. I will. Thank you. All right. What do you have here as far as jobs go? We won't be doing one today, but it won't hurt to grab one. So he did not have what I was looking for, but we did get three tool digest books and we have a wiring book. And what do we give him? Oh, two more tools, salvage and shotgun. So the plan right now, I, I just heard that bear. I think the bear knows I'm here now. Oh, another forge ahead. Yeah, it definitely knows I'm here. So we're gonna have to go kill the bear safely though. I will take that. Um, What do we have up here, Hugh? Can I look outside? I'll take this ammo. Okay. There's a bear who wants me dead, and he's right there. We did it. I already took down a bear, and we just got here. Oh, there's too many. Okay, go away. Got one. I just don't want them eating my bear. That was my kill. I worked for that kill. All right, so now we have to worry about the bear. And 43 meat? Ooh. Well, I guess we won't go hungry here. Now, I want to build a base, and honestly, probably going to be right along here. Looks like the perfect spot. But yeah, we're probably going to be looking at the base right over here. The base I have been designing is a big base, and it's going to take a little bit to build. So... Oh, that's another one. Oh, this goes down quite a bit. I'm already, what, three down? Four. Okay, so four. So four down until we hit stone. I do not want my base on top of snow, that's for sure. So all my pillars have to be four deep into the ground. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun and a lot of work. But I'm looking forward to it. So what we have to do now is I need to start bringing, whoa, I need to start bringing things over. And I want everything to be cobblestone from the very start. I don't want to build with wood. Here's what we'll do. We're going to go over to that cracker book and I'm going to go ahead and go through it to see what books we can get. Now, the thing that is not that great for me is I know we're in a new biome, things are going to be stronger. However, I did not bring my bow. So I cannot sneak up on anything. And if it's stronger, then I don't think it's too far fetched to believe that we're going to have ferals. Right there, already got a feral. Okay, you were not feral. I need to turn the light off. Because I need to do everything I can to try to get a sneak attack. That was it right there. That's what I needed. 
Perfect. Oh, they're outside. I stand up. Ooh. Nothing in there. Okay, what about over here? There's always someone in here. Okay. Oh, you're a barrel, of course. And I couldn't get the sneak damage off. Okay, so we got you. Yeah, they're breaking through the wall, which is fine. Oh, multiple. That's fine. Uh, don't tell me y'all know I'm here too now. I think I'm good. Let's hope so. So now what I want to do, put my point, uh, yeah, right here. One into Grease Monkey. Now I have a good chance of picking up Vehicle Adventures, Tool Digest. Now I'm going to read them as I pick them up, just because I cannot afford to be slowed down here. Yes, perfect. I already got one. And another one. This is amazing. Uh oh, somebody breaking a window. Is that, where are you going? I was going to fight you over there. Okay. Let's go. We've already gotten two. Oh, here's another one. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to learn how to make a motorcycle. With all the books we can get from here, I'm only one away. There's no way I'm not going to. All right. Tool digest is done. Ooh, what's this? Uh, guy can never have enough bandages. All right. So I can make cloth out of fiber. And I just completed that series, which means I get a bonus. Unbelievable. Increase your chances of finding legendary parts. That's perfect. There are so many zombies here. Way too many. And we're learning schematic for a bunk buster. Rad remover. Awesome. Okay, I just said how there's no way I'm not going to learn how to make a motorcycle, so just go and give it to me. I know it's happening. Come on. No. Oh, I'm, I went too quick on that. I'm sorry. I'm just want to hurt and get that book. How have I not found it yet? Nope, let's bows. Forge ahead. Come on, vehicle. Nope, another stick one. Got repair tool and salvage tool. Salvage again. Oh, that's nothing. And uh, shotguns do 10 percent more damage. How was I getting so lucky right off the bat? And now it's just like, nope, luck gone. Another savage tool. Here we got big hitters. We have, what's this? Robotics and club crafting. Savage tool again. Finally. Yes. That's what I came here for. Now, I don't think I'm going to stay and do the rest of it because that's all I really wanted from here. All right, so we got what we wanted. I can now make a motorcycle. So let's go back home because we got to get more stuff for sure. And, ooh, I'm not going to have enough gas to get there. So I'm going to have to find some gas along the way. But I will meet you back at the other base to where hopefully we can hurry up and make ourselves a motorcycle, get packed up, and head back here and then really just get started on building everything. I never had that book. Sneaking over trash makes no noise. I will take that. Oh, candy. What do you have? Rockbuster? Looking for that. Take a sugar butt. That's all we need. Let's go ahead. We were going to read that book because for some reason I thought I read it already, but I did not. 
So I don't have a beaker, which means I cannot make a chemistry station to make a whole bunch of gas. However, that's fine. We'll have to do that another time. Right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to attempt to make a motorcycle. I don't know what I still need or anything. Let's, let's check here, how about that? So all we need is to make the handlebars. I need duct tape, which shouldn't be a problem. What is that, 11? Can I make 11 duct tape? I can. It also need seven forged steel, which I do not have, and I do not have the ability to make that. So here's what we're gonna have to do. I have to go quickly get forged steel from somewhere. I know, yeah, these lamp posts, they're good for that. I don't think you get like a whole bunch, but I think you get some. Let's find out. I'm uh, not there yet. Oh, there's two already and four. Perfect. All right, everything I needed right there. Awesome. So now I gotta come back. I'm gonna go and work on making the motorcycle parts, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. And then I also need to work on cobblestone. We should have that in two and a half minutes. Then once that is done, I will go and start making the motorcycle. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna work on getting little odds and ends done around here though. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we just got a lot done there. I have a motorcycle. I'm working on a mod for it to save fuel. But for right now, overseers, I'm gonna go and charge the drone and I'll see you here in just a moment. All right, so the motorcycle has finally been completed. So let me see, where is it at? Oh, right here. And I'm gonna wait for this mod. Now, I wouldn't have made the fuel saver mod because fuel has been a problem and I'm sure it will continue to be one. So I thought, why not just go and make a mod so we ain't gotta worry about it. Now these dew collectors, we will be taking all of them with us. I hope our storage goes up by quite a bit with the motorcycle versus what we currently have, but I'm not sure how big of a storage system it has. So we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, look at this. Wow. That looks awesome. Love it. I'm so glad I made that. You hear that? Oh. Oh yeah. You're exactly what I needed. So what we're doing now, I have this making everything out of it so I could take it with me. Or else I couldn't pick up the forge. What I'm gonna do here. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Because I don't know if I want to just you know, have it to where I'm upgrading. Cause last time I did that, I got a lot of experience, which makes it eventually where I'm gonna have stronger zombies. I don't want to chance that in the new biome right now, cause I'm pretty sure I'm going to level up enough as it is being over there in the snow. I will just do it directly from a block and we'll go from there. Oh yeah, I'm still making a ton more, a ton. It's gonna take me what, 23 minutes? What's that gonna take you? Seven, I'll make 2000 here make the rest over here. It's a good thing about the, having the workbench. It allows me to do all that. Welcome back overseers. So all I've been doing is I went ahead over here. We got the motorcycle set up. The mod for saving fuel has been installed. I have cobblestone blocks and cobblestone rocks being made. We're just getting everything out of the smelter or the forge so we can take it with us. I'm just going to be doing a lot of busy work for tonight and I will catch y'all in the morning.